Come at me, bro. <laughs> I know why people watch this these videos and that's because they have interest in doing this themselves they don't care about you know my homestead they right there's an interest in doing this themselves so um so i want to try to help out as much as possible and and one of the things when i was investigating all of this stuff and decided to go with that ct post and beam system where i was cutting with chainsaws and all that stuff is the time um, so I want to give you uh, as much info as I can here. So generally when I come out here, I'm out here for about two to five hours working. Uh, I say two because sometimes things just go bad. But never am I out here for like a full eight hour day because I've got other things that I have to do throughout life. So that led me to that CT post and beam system, the chainsaws, the very fast cuts and that sort of thing. And when I was watching those videos of, of other guys doing it and they had these huge circular saws and whatnot, I've got a little time on my hands and I decided, hey, why don't I try to cut one of these things with the circular saw? You know, the circular saw blade won't even go through an eight by eight. So how long does it take to cut? You know, just a, just a cut, not a mortise, not a tenon, anything like that but just a cut through there with my skill saw, worm drive skill saw, and a really crappy Menards uh, handsaw. So uh, I'm gonna film this and you can see, and then you can decide for yourself as you are getting ready for your project, which way you wanna go, chainsaw or this. You see, I've got a beam right here. And this is for the dormers. I've got the floors done, by the way. So the floors are done. So. These are the three posts for the dormers, and I've got them, I've got two cut right here. I don't have my microphone on me, so I'll try to speak up, but um, this cut that I'm making is 49 and 7 sixteenths. 49 and 7 sixteenths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to mark 49 and 7 sixteenths. Mark 49 7 sixteenths. Again, just to kind of show you guys, okay, well, if I had to make those cuts, how long would it, would it take me? And it's, uh, it's not so bad in reality. And you get a nice clean cut. So I like to go through, and I've never done this before. And those first two came out nice. Now, as long as you, you know, stay on the line, keep on the line, going to have, obviously, measure twice, cut once. So here's the uh, the key to the whole thing is the handsaw, right? So I'm going to try to bring this down a little bit, give it a little support as I start to cut it free. And there we go. So it's not so bad. If you didn't want to do the whole chainsaw deal and that is a cheap saw I haven't even looked at it let's see I'm gonna show you the, the quality of cut so circular saw makes it that's the depth and then that's the depth 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 this is hand saw so it's not so bad So if you hadn't seen any of my videos from months ago when I was actually cutting this frame, um, I'm gonna kind of walk you through it really quickly. So I cut them with the uh, circular saw, except for those three cuts that I just showed you, I did with the chainsaw. So it's a, it's a system called CT Post and Beam, 
and they have some proprietary tooling. And uh, the way it works is this, I'll, I'll kind of walk you through it. So you mount this unit to your eight by eight. This is one of the eight by eights that I had just cut. And you mount this unit just by using a couple of construction screws right here. And then there's an adapter that goes on. This is an electric chainsaw, the steel MSE 250C, which is freaking awesome, by the way. Uh, you know, you can just chainsaw on this thing all day and uh, you never smell like two cycle. Some guys like to smell like two cycle. I don't. Uh, and that, so you would uh, put this on it with this tool right here, just slides right in here. You tighten them down, everything's good. And then this piece, slides right down here and you cut the slot. So the slot holds that. It's just that simple. Then these screw into the wood that you're, or the concrete, whatever that you're going into. Then you slot it and then there are a couple of pins. Once you do that, you, you actually drill the wood and you run a couple of pins through there and you're done. That's how tall the dormer is. So when I raise my hand up, I'm exactly seven feet. So right there at this side, it's probably, you know, it's pretty dang close to still eight feet right there. So, and it, obviously it's not centered. It's not in place. I just set it there. So let's see uh, what we can do here. I'm gonna try to run these couple of screws in right quick. Where did I put the, the drill? Did I take the dang drill down? Oh no, it's right here. So this is the way, if you haven't watched any of the earlier videos, this is the way I got these the posts for the uh, first floor up in the air. Ran a screw in like that. Wants to come. Dang it. There we go. Remember, these are eight by eight by about 13 and a half feet. So come at me, bro. <laughs> ah. Gotta be getting close. I gotta be honest with you, that was kind of fun. That worked out beautifully, right? A little $15 boat winch, a D-ring at the top of the posts, and, and we yanked those things right up. You were great help, you were fantastic. Um, 
If there's anything that I've learned in this entire build process is that you can, by yourself, you can do virtually anything with mechanical advantage, whether that is with that winch that I would just used or with block and tackle or, you know, some sort of a pulley system. You know, you have to think it through. It's going to take you a couple extra minutes, but you, you can get it done. Um, so uh, that's it. I, I'm done for the day. I got everything that I've wanted to get done, done. And again, so these four posts are right here. One, two, three, four. And then we've got three more beams at the top for the actual peak of the roof. And that is all of the heavy beams for the cabin. Everything else is four by sixes, four by eights, four by fours. You know, the rafters are four by eights. They're long. Uh, the, the rafter boards on one side are 17 feet or something like that. So they're long. So they're going to be heavy, but... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with that. I, I, I was really concerned with how I was going to get that stuff up there. Worked great. Worked great. So I'm going to show myself the door. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.